March is almost about to start. March 2024. And here are 10 things that you need to watch out. 10 parameters that you can use to help yourself and to help others. 10 things to look out for in the month of March. All right. So now for simplicity, I will not include astrological details here, which means I won't say which planet is where, here, there, I won't say. But primarily, the energies of Capricorn and Aquarius are uh, quite in harmony uh, during this month. And of course, towards the later half, it's Aquarius and Pisces nonetheless. All right. So what is the first thing that you should be aware of? Well, see, as much as this month is having good energies but you need to understand that there is a planet which is very prominent this month which is that planet yes you guessed it right it's none other than saturn so wherever saturn is there is hard work so if you have some agenda some goal some objective in the month of march and especially if it is related to your career profession money name fame power position status then you need to understand it won't be easy. It won't be a cakewalk. So you will have to work hard. All right. So hard work is very, very, very important this month. And if you work hard, you will get grand success. Okay. Depending on your dashas. Okay. Now, number two is as you keep working hard later on, the Piscian and Piscian energy will be very prominent. So which means uh, the attitude of letting go has to be inculcated inside your consciousness otherwise you will get very obsessed and you will feel as if you should do everything in life okay but you need to understand that you cannot do everything and then neither do you need to do everything but it's your mind which is telling you always do this do this do this do this do that but that won't help you always so do your best and learn to leave the rest okay number three is because uh the opposite energies are also prominent like you know uh, for capricorn and uh, aquarius there is leo and cancer so therefore you can expect that you may get some recognition during this month because if your mahadasha or antardasha is indicating the sixth house or 10th or 11th one of the three houses then there could be some very uh, good recognition which could come uh, your way Okay, now depending on the nature of the planet, it will be decided. If there is sun, moon, it could be some recognition from the government. If it is uh, Jupiter, Venus, uh, it could be some prize or some award that you get. If it is Mercury, uh, then there could be some uh, recognition from the corporate. You may get some promotion or something like that. Okay, but there could be some recognition, but it will depend on your... <clears throat> the shahs now number four this is very critical there could be indulgence okay indulgence so or rather let me say there could be over indulgence okay so therefore if during this month you find that the allergies are a bit off balance then you need to understand that you will have to balance the things because without balancing uh you can't get happiness in the long run okay so do not get into the the extremes if you want to enjoy then enjoy but do it in your limits okay or else there may be consequences because of the sun saturn conjunction okay now number five there could be very good networking opportunities which you might get so if you have the chance to go to some networking event and this is primarily for your profession then please 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 go there don't miss the chance to reconnect with people try to go and connect with others and try to go and <clears throat> uh feel as if uh, you can also be of some help there okay so don't just go there and uh, ask help from others okay which is okay you can do that but also go there and ask if you can be of some help to others okay that will take you miles ahead now number six is similar to number five but it's networking with uh, old people or rather i would say reconnecting with old people so if you are starting your own business, then maybe you can network with others, as I said, but you can also network with your family, friends, colleagues, uh, and your school friends, you know, your friends during your bachelor's, master's education in your nursery, <laughs> plus two and all this. They could be of great help. So 
for certain people, if uh, you are looking for some new job opportunities, you can also contact some school friend, you know, if they're in some good company, they may not be able to tell you exactly how to get the job, but they can give you a roadmap about, you know, how to have that job, that dream job in the next three to six months. Okay, so reconnect with old people and you will be blessed. Okay, number seven is very important irrespective of how things go on because the energy of Aquarius and Capricorn are very prominent then you must give some donations okay now when I say donation I don't just mean monetary donation you can donate your money you can donate your experience you can donate your time also okay so somebody is asking for some help depending on your capacity you should try to help them all right of course you cannot help everybody neither can i neither can everybody else all right so that has to be done in your limits but try your best uh, because the more you help others the more others will help you but even if they don't help you it is good for you you will feel content inside you will feel happy you will feel jubilant inside because you gave something you made somebody's life better okay number eight you need to rewire your thoughts so Aquarius, as you know, is the uh, original 11th sign. So what happens is, uh, when the 11th sign is activated, one of the two things happen. Either your desires are fulfilled or you, um, you, 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 you start to think that, why should I have this desire at all? Okay, Which means you try to think if if this desire is necessary at all okay if this is not fulfilled so therefore if your desires are not fulfilled then you need to check were you realistic in even assuming that you could have fulfilled this desire because many times people have unrealistic expectations so this is the time this is the month where you should understand your limitations because saturn is involved here mars is also involved somehow so therefore you may feel that things are not moving at the speed that you want okay so therefore you need to check if it can move can others do have others done it or you need to talk to some guide some counselor and then you need to make a good plan right now number nine is you can look for different wealth opportunities as i said you know networking and all but you can also upskill yourself uh, you can apply for a new job you can get new promotions new recognitions as i said before but specifically take one step ahead now uh, take one step at a time for wealth opportunities which means if you have a job go and sit with your manager and uh, discuss your performance you know discuss a roadmap to get some promotion <clears throat> um, or if you have a business then try to network with other people or try to enter into some other territory which is a bit unknown try to take some risks okay try to do something which uh, can bring in more wealth from anywhere okay and number 10 if your desires are fulfilled then you need to get a reality check which is similar to point number eight point number eight was if your desires were, are not fulfilled and point number 10, this point is if your desires are fulfilled, then what do you do? Well, you need to understand that Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, that no matter what desire is fulfilled, which desire is fulfilled, there will always be a new desire. So fulfilling desires is great. There's nothing wrong with it, provided it is within the scriptural limits. But uh, if you are only hankering to fulfill your desires, with this expectation that only by fulfilling all your desires you will be happy in life uh, well then that may not be the case because anytime a you want to become a millionaire then you want to become a multi-millionaire then you want to become a billionaire okay so therefore it's like a never-ending desire so you need to understand that i can fulfill my desires but at the end uh, external achievements and fulfilling of desires may not make me happy in a true sense so I need to become more spiritual, do more spiritual practices and elevate my consciousness and only then I will be happy. All right. So I hope these 10 things help you to navigate through the month of March in a better way. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know what will 
they do in the month of March. All right. For personalized consultations, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Thank you.